the bone called the vomer bone is located there then we have two palatine bone the palatine bone is found at the posterior aspect of the oral cavity that is is forming a part of this hard palate of the mouth then we have the mazillae mazillae mazilla mazillae the mazillae is forming the hard palate of the mouth so it is a bone located at the upper jaws of the mouth then we have the mandible the mandible is the bone located at the lower jaw of the mouth so we are able to um, list out the visceral cranium we said the visceral cranium there are two zygomatic bone bones of the chin two lacrimal bones one nasa bone two if you nasa bone if you nasa conchi one vome bone two palenta bones one mas one mazilla bone okay two mazilla there are two mazilla then one mandible so these are the bones that make up the visceral cranium so now there are some important notes you need to take you need to put into considerations you should know that for the cranium which we have discussed the base of the cranium the bones that make up the base of the cranium they usually provide articulation for the visceral cranium they provide articulation for the bone of the face the visceral cranium and also they provide articulation for the first cervical vertebra so that is a very important note you should what take note of so now we're going to discuss the bones so we're moving on to the joints that exist within these bones there are different joints many of them but the three basic joints the three basic joints are one we have the corona coronary joint and note the joints of the skull is called the satchel joint it is a fibrous joint why is it a fibrous joint because the bones are connected to one another by a strong fibro fibrous tissue so there is limited or no movement at all at this word at this joint so it's a word it's a fibrous joint called the satchel joint so the three major or basic satchel joints the three most important ones are the coronary joint or the coronary satchel that is the joint that exists between the frontal bone and the two parental bones it's just like remember those old days when queens and kings wear crown at the level of where they wear their crown that is where this satchel is that's how you used to remember so it is what coronary what satchel the satchel the joints between the frontal bone and the two parental word bones then we have the second one the sagittal satchel the sagittal satchel as the name implies is a joint found between the two parental bones so between the right and the left parental bones there is a joint between them called the satchel word joint so these two bones join together to form the word the sagittal word the sagittal satchel so we have another one called the lampdoid satchel the lampdoid satchel l a m b d o i d lampdoid satchel this lampdoid satchel is located 
or exist between or is formed by the two parental bones and the occipital bones it is formed by what the two parental bones and the occipital bones so these are the stature so i want to discuss the stature we say the stature are what we have the coronary stature the sagittal stature the lampdoid stature so these are the most important we said the coronary stature are the stature found between the frontal bones and the two parental bones we said Baby